All right, in this example, you can see that I've got uh, x's on both sides of the equation, and they are both in uh, the exponent position on both sides of the equation. So let's solve this. And the first thing we want to do is take the log of both sides. So I'm going to take the log and, oh, let's change our minds and let's do uh, natural log here. So let's do that. Okay, so natural log. And when I do that, see that whole exponent can come down in the front. So natural log of e, and then this whole exponent comes down in the front. Natural log of 2. Okay, so see how I took the natural log of both sides. That released, so to speak, released uh, the exponents there. Okay, so now, oops, I want that in green. Here we go. All right, so the natural log of e is 1, so that disappears. So now I have x minus 3 equals 3x times the ln of 2. So the idea is to get um, all of our x terms together. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So then I'm left with negative 3 on the left. And then here I've got 3x ln of 2 minus x. And before I go any further, let me just highlight these x's in red so you can see each term has, uh, each term on the right has an x in it. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out an x. And I'm going to factor that out from each of the terms here. Okay, and let me just rewrite it up here because I'm running out of room. So see how I factored an x out of there? Okay, so I'm solving for x. So at this point, I'm just going to divide both sides by this number. It's just a number, 3 times the ln of 2 minus 1. That's just some number in the calculator. Of course, we want to hold all calculations to the end. So now I have x equals minus 3 divided by 3 ln 2 minus 1. And when you type that in your calculator, I'll let you do that, don't forget to put parentheses around the whole denominator. And when you hit that ln button, you get an extra parenthesis. So don't forget to close the parenthesis around the 2 also. All right, and then when you do that, um, you do it on your own on your calculator, and then double check my answer. should be negative 2.7. Seven, nine, And of course, you can do the check with your calculator, do that second answer. Um, you might have to get creative about this because you have x on both sides, but you can still check these with your calculator.